Welcome to EDO Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will discuss rationalization method of solving algebraic limits, evaluation of algebraic limits by using some standard limits, evaluation of algebraic limits at infinity. Rationalization method of solving algebraic limits is applied where the expression takes the form 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity or etc. Means the expression takes in determinant form. In determinant form. So, in this case, we have to rationalize the limits or rationalize the function. For example, in this case, we have to evaluate this function at limit x tends to 0. So, when x is equal to 0, the expression under root 2 plus x minus root 2 by x takes the form 0 by 0. As you can see, if we have 0, and in denominator we will get 0, in numerator and root 2 will be cancelled out by under root 2, so the form becomes 0 by 0. So, rationalizing the numerator, We have limit x tends to 0 under root of 2 plus x minus root 2 divided by x into as we know that we rationalize by opposite signs so that we can apply the formula of n numerator or denominator so that it reduces normal form. Here we can see that we can apply the formula of a minus b and a plus b which is equal to a square minus b square. So it will become 2 plus x minus 2 divided by x into and in number we get under root of 2 plus x plus root 2 in the multiplication of x. So 2 will be cancelled out by 2 so we get limit x tends to 0 and x will be cancelled out by x. So, we get 1 upon under root of 2 plus x plus root 2. Here, we can apply directly the limit which will be equal to limit x tends to 0 1 upon under root of 2 plus x plus root 2 which is equal to 1 upon 2 plus 0 plus root 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 root 2 is the required so, rationalized me method is applied where the expression takes form 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity. And in that, we rationalize the numerator or denominator as the case may be. And after rationalizing, we apply one formula. And after applying the formula, the expression reduces to some normal form. And the common term will be cancelled out so that in denominator, we didn't get the expression 0. So, it reduces to the normal form and we can directly apply the limit then over there. So, this is our required answer. Here, there is one point to be noted that rationalization method is applied over there also where either in numerator or denominator we, con we, we consist of the term having the square root. Either both the terms in the numerator or denominator consist of the square root or either numerator or denominator having the terms in the square root. So, there only the rationalization method is applied. Now let us consider evaluation of algebraic limit by using some standard result. The standard result is if n belongs to q that is rational number then limit x tends to a x raised to n minus a raised to n divided by x minus a here it is a, not q, is equal to n a n minus 1. So, if the expression is of this form, then we can directly write its result that is n into a, tipa, a raised to n minus 1, where n is any rational number. Now, let us see one example based on this. We have to evaluate limit x tends to 0 of this expression. as we can see that 
here this expression is of the form xn minus an over x minus a where of the form this. So to reduce this expression in this form let us see how can we reduce this. Here x tends to 0 that is here a is 0 as we can see that here x is 1 minus x. In order to get 1 minus x in the numerator, sorry, in the denominator, we can add and subtract 1 in the denominator. After adding and subtracting, we see that we need x to be negative. So, we take minus out to be common. So, the term reduces to this form in the denominator which is 1 minus x minus 1. Also, here in this case, a is 1 and here is 0. So, let us consider y is equal to 1 minus x. As x tends to 0, so y as x tends to 0, so it becomes y tends to 1. Applying y tends to 1 in the limit and uh, replacing x by, uh, 1 minus x by y in the quotient we get limit minus limit y tends to 1 this will be uh, y raised to n minus 1 divided by 1 minus x is y minus 1 which will be equal to minus n into a raised to n minus 1 which is equal to minus n is the answer. So, if the expression is not of the form this, we have to reduce this in this form by replacing this term by some another term and then solving the quotient in the normal sense. So, this is the one example in which we have to replace the common term by some other term. Then after replacing that term with that term, we can solve the quotient like this. Now, let's see evaluation of algebraic limit at infinity. That is when limit tends to infinity. That is, when limit tends to infinity, we follow some steps to solve the limit. First step is write down the given expression in the form of rational number. Function. That is fx divided by gx. If it not so. Second step is if k is the highest power of x in numerator and denominator both. Then divide each term in numerator and denominator by x raised to k. Next step is use the result that is limit x tends to infinity, c divided by x raised to n is equal to 0 and limit x tends to infinity, c is equal to c where n is always greater than 0. So, these are the steps which we follow while solving the algebraic limit at infinity. Now, let us consider one example based on this. In this example, we have to evaluate the limit at x tends to infinity of the given expression. As we can see here, the given expression is of the form infinity minus infinity. So, we first reduce it to fx divided by gx form that is rational form. 
so we have limit extends to infinity under root of x square plus x plus 1 minus x square plus 1 this. As we can see that the term in the numerator is considered of both at the square root. So we can rationalize it and reduce it to the form, rational form. So rationalize it by numerator we get under root of x square plus x plus 1 minus under root of x square plus 1 into under root of x square plus x plus 1 plus under root of x square plus 1 divided by under root of x square plus x plus 1 plus under root of x square plus 1. As we can see that in the numerator it is forming the form, it is making the formula of a minus b into a plus b which is equal to a square minus b square which will be, which will be equal to in this case x square plus x plus 1 minus x square minus 1 divided by under root of x square plus x plus 1 plus plus under root of x square plus 1 which will be equal to x square will be cancelled out by x square, 1 will be cancelled out by 1. So it remains limit x tends to infinity x divided by under root of x square plus x plus 1 plus under root of x square plus 1. As we can see that the highest power of x in the numerator is 1. So divide the numerator and denominator by x we get limit x tends to infinity 1 over under root of 1 plus 1 by x plus 1 by x square plus under root of 1 plus 1 by x which will be equal to limit x tends to infinity 1 over under root of 1 plus 1 by x plus 1 by x square plus under root of 1 plus 1 by x which will be equal to 1 upon under root of 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus under root of 1 plus 0 which will be equal to under root of 1 upon under root of 1 plus under root of 1 which will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 which is equal to 1 by x is the required answer. So in this way we can find out the algebraic limit at infinity.